The themes in Peter Pan are totally universal. I think there's a little part of all of us that never wants to grow up. The play is still set in 1908. We still start in 1908, but when we go to Neverland, it turns into this kind of historical hybrid. So the kids are still dressed in sort of Edwardian dress, but Tink may have a little hint of Adidas in her outfit, and some of the language is a little bit more modern. It's not only about um, seeing the magic, but it's also, I think, about seeing how the magic works. We're in a particular kind of theatre in Stratford, a theatre that has audience on three sides. You can't hide anything in a space like this. So it's about hiding everything actually in full view. And that's wonderfully liberating in some ways. Our visual language stems mainly from the nursery and a lot of tricks happen out of that one set. And it expands and contracts in the best way to kind of possibly tell a story without giving too much away, I guess. It uses the whole of the RST stage in the way it's intended. We're essentially in the round. Everyone can see it from every side, which in some ways is terrifying and in some ways actually I think we've all grown to love this idea and it's going to make it an even more visceral experience I think. From the way we're doing the flying it's going to make it very visceral and very real and totally interactive I think. What's been interesting actually the whole way through is, I've talked to Ella about this before as well, it's like taking her language and trying to find a visual sense of it. So we're trying to find a really fresh visual appeal to it. So we're taking the Edwardian period, but we're kind of skewing it when we go into the home under the ground where the Lost Boys live, or even in the nursery as well, it's not completely Edwardian, but it's lodged in that, but, um, but we're able to play with it to find our own kind of fresh point of view about it. So we're not creating a stuffy version of Peter Pan that everyone else has seen before. It's hopefully something that's fresh and new and, and exciting and has, a, has our twist on it.